Welcome to the Jenkins Platform Special Interest Group. It's the 29th of January, 2021. Remember that we are we abide by the Jenkins uh, Code of Conduct, so be nice to each other. I'm gonna share my screen and let's look at the agenda. So here's what I've got as topics for today. Um, open action items, uh, Jenkins, master, the Docker master branch, Docker changes that I think is probably gonna be likely most of the meeting. And Jim, it's wonderful that you're here for this conversation because you're a key participant there. Uh, Jet platform proposal that we may do just briefly and then contributor summit discussion. Are there other agenda items that need to be added to this list before we actually start through the agenda? Okay, all right, then let's get, a, get going. That's great. I hope Carl will join us. Jim, you are here. Excellent. All right. So open action items. Uh, I had the action item to open the JEP for Docker operating system support and platform selection. The draft is there. Uh, I'd like to not spend a lot of time here today on it because I think we've got more practical things to discuss in terms of proposals that are actively in, in progress, but it is, it is available there and, and we can certainly, certainly look at it if if we, if there are questions about what it says. Alex, uh, CentOS for op Adopt Open JDK, you've submitted the PR. Anything you want to share there further on that? Uh, no, I just need some review. I think uh, the last question was making sure we uh, were pinning the version of the JDK, which I've done. Uh, so I just need a final review and then we can merge it. And, and as far as I can tell, that is a that, that one is not a compatibility threat in terms of do it, it should just continue working. That's correct. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So great because my review of the, the earlier change, it looked good to me. I, I don't recall if I did so. So you'd be okay if we merge that one even relatively quickly. There's not a, there's nothing that needs to gate that one. Correct. Great. Excellent. Thank you. Anyone else with objections on merging that CentOS use adopt open JDK PR that will give us the benefit that now Alpine, Debian and CentOS will all be using adopt open JDK for their JDK. Great. All right. So then I had an action item on the plugin installation manager. And I like that, Alex, you had suggested we consider a shim. The more I looked at that, the more interested I am in doing that. To simplify, I think it fits within the context of upcoming Docker changes as well. Yeah, I have a PR almost ready. Um, so I can, um, I, I just need to do some more testing and then I can um, create a PR for it. Great, excellent, thank you. So, so the install plugins.sh script would then continue to exist, but would actually call the plugin installation manager Java code rather than call, doing it all from a shell. Excellent. Okay, and Jim, we had an item for you on parallelization and multi arch CI. Is there anything you wanted to report there? Um, no, I actually just got done with the internal project. So now I'm paid back on my uh, external projects. Uh, the one thing when I was really looking over it, I'll, I'll need to get with Alex to understand some more of the, the groovy uh, parallelization code. Um, I'm not a groovy expert. Um, so uh, I don't fully understand what you were doing in the old way uh, that you had you added parallelization for a little bit. So we just need to figure out how to take the PR with some of the improvements I have and kind of merge in um, some of your parallelization uh, with the groovy code. Um, sure. And uh, Gareth, Gareth and Kara, I believe are also at least maybe interested in that area. So Jim, don't be shy. Jim Crowley, Gareth, for your info, is part of IBM. 
the earth is part of cloud bees Kara is part of cloud bees and so and so we're we're delighted to all be contributing to open source it's a wonderful mm -hmm. thing yeah, I'll have to, I'll, again, I'll have to re uh, take my PR and uh, re pull down master uh, and then look at the changes needed to be made. Cause it's, I think it's been like a month or a couple months at least since I last looked at it. So. Great. All right. Thank you. Anything else on, on that, on the multi arch topic there with, for, for you, Jim? Uh, no. Okay, we'd set ourselves a, a goal to get the Docker master branch working, and I've made no progress on that. Alex, anything you wanted to share there? I, I haven't made any progress either. I, I, I think I'm going to just submit a PR to um, not do the publishing to Jenkins for eval. Uh, I, I can probably do that today, and then we can work on uh, doing the publish, uh, bringing back that publish when we get Jim's stuff integrated. Great. Okay. Certainly, with it failing, it, it pay, the job's failing now. It's not publishing to Jenkins for eval today, so so a PR to stop that stage seems harmless. Yeah, good. That, that certainly won't do damage. All right. Next topic was proposed Docker changes. So this one is. As I was looking at the things that are pending in in various pull requests, it feels like we've got several very interesting changes coming in in our Docker infrastructure and our Docker environment. Uh, so, Alex, your uh, adopt Open JDK change. I proposed an upgrade from Stretch to Buster. Jim's got the proposal for Multi Arch, and then coming, we've got this. Alex, the, the one you noted that you're working on to replace the contents of install plugins sh with a call to plugin install manager. Those are the controller side. And then Cara has a PR open for non-root user on the agents and for Docker build improvements. Some of these, for instance, the one that I'm frightened of is this stretch to buster, they have compatibility risks. And I think the non-root user is also one, Cara, right, where it's got a compatibility risk to the user. You're muted, Cara. I, I'm i not entirely sure of that, actually. I mean, it, the, the PR is failing now. I threw in some extra tests this morning, and they're, they're failing. So those need to be fixed. But um, and it's really the test that need to be fixed, actually. But I will look into the compatibility issue. Um, so, um, my thought was that there are probably downstream users that are that were running as running the image, and today it's running as root, and in the future it won't run as root. Right? The oh. idea is stop running as root, and that's going. They're going to see that as a compatibility change, and we're going to say yes, it's intentional. We 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 really mean it. You shouldn't run as root. So how we're handling that, um, I believe this handles it from a technical perspective, is that we are leaving those images up. So these will be published separately. So this will be an entirely uh, different new set. So I hope, but, it, but yes, we will do messaging around um, why we're making this change, why we're making these available, and why you, you know, why we advise you not to run this room. Okay, so but the new images will actually use new names or new tags then? Uh, yes. Okay. Got it. All right. I had not understood that. Thanks. Okay. So, so I guess the question to the group was, is this, if it sounds like then Cara, that on the agent side is not a big threat because if I want the old behavior, I keep using the old tags. If I want the new behavior, I use new tags. So, yes. so that's, that's not a big, okay, great. Whereas, yeah. oh, go ahead. Alex. I was going to say one thing, that they won't get updates though. We need to make sure that those are marked as deprecated. Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. So, and that makes sense. That's, we're going to reduce our debt by stopping updates of things that we consider deprecated. So we do need to announce the deprecation of those things somehow. Yes. What, what is our schedule? How do we do that? How do we announce it? What is our deprecation schedule? In the past, what we did was we would we would announce a uh, we would announce with a blog post. So 
when we, for instance, switched from Alpine 3.9 to Alpine 3.12, we just did a blog post and then made the change. And, and that one was actually surprisingly quiet. So I was assuming I'll do a blog post on this, whoops, on the stretch to buster change there. On this change from stretch to buster, I'll do a blog post. I would do a blog post on that saying, hey, we're doing this, this change because the user will see yesterday they were running Jenkins slash Jenkins colon latest, and it was actually building using Debian 9. Tomorrow, they run Jenkins slash Jenkins colon latest, and it's suddenly running Debian 10. And, and they'll be, oh, but my scripts are different, or whatever happens inside them has changed for them. Uh, Mark, I think one of the I think I think it was in my PR, uh, and I know we had an issue. <clears throat> excuse me, uh, talking about it, but the more verbose tags should help alleviate some of this pressure. Uh, people, um, you know, having conflicts. Like if we have a verbose tag where it's you know latest, then we had a Debian tag, and then we had a Debian nine or a Debian stretch or whatever you know dash stretch, and then a Debian dash Buster. As we you know, people kind of want a, a more specific tag to you know stay more stable um that could avoid some confusion uh of you know hey i'm pulling down just latest which as everyone knows if you just pull down latest image on any repository you're asking for you know some sort of unstability and also some, for some trouble like you don't know if they're ever going to change latest to be a different distro or whatever uh, that's why more specific tags allow for that more control um, for our users. The, the only thing that I would add to that though, is we need, we need to let people know that we're no longer going to be building the stretch images, right? So yeah. if they're, if they're relying on stretch, then those image become deprecated. And so that needs to be made clear as well. We need, we just need to make it clear when we deprecate things so that if people are using those, uh, they know, and we give them an image that says, Hey, if you're using Debian stretch before, now you need to test with Debian buster or our latest, which is Debian buster. And, um make sure that works in your environment mm -hmm. yeah I, I think the deprecation is still very important but hopefully if they really do care about the os uh and specific version of that os they can have a more specific image uh to hold on to for a little bit until right you know, deprecation is fully gone and we stop supporting it and stop publishing altogether right okay, so so jim it sounds like what that does that lobby that uh, we've intentionally held off on PR 1070, waiting to get a, a formal announcement and et cetera. Seems like we would benefit if we also had yours in before, so that we could announce those two things together. I'm, I don't think we need to combine it with the agent change. Cara, it sounds like you've got the compatibility thing solved there, but for, for the controller side, does that make sense to you, Jim? That and is the is ten thirty four the the PR that adds the more verbose tags? Yeah, ten thirty four does. Uh, Alex actually started producing more verbose tags, pretty similar to the exact same style that I was suggesting for Windows images. I'm pretty sure. Um, so again, I think in that PR, I, I made a comment of like a demonstration of like what the verbose tags are. Uh, and how all the tags that you guys still have or still support right now are still there, but the verbose tags just add more clarity for users who want a specific version. Um, so I think it does make sense uh, getting that PR in and then adding the, the switch over. Great, all right. Alex, does that, does that work okay for you then? We, it's, we it's actually those. not. It's not just on Jenkins for eval. The, the oh, verbose tags are, are published um, on the Jenkins. Good. Okay. So so it's already published to to the Jenkins org as a Correct. as an official. Phrase. And it's it's like JDK dash Windows Server Core dash whatever, right? That's what the the tag format is. It kind of follows the adopt adoptium um, naming conventions for their images. Yeah, that's that's pretty much where I based it off of. I didn't include all the Adoptium tags because right. they get kind of ridiculous uh, yeah. for some of them. 
Um, but I mean, you know, since it's a base image, right, you know, having all those tags uh, makes it easier for upstream projects to pull in. Great. Okay. Well, that, that feels, okay, so it feels like we're, we want to pair those two sort of together. So Jim, that means I'm now motivated to test PR 1034. I'm already testing 1070 myself. I'll mm -hmm. start experimenting with yours so that we can look to do those as a combined thing. Great. Yeah. Yeah. There's a uh, next coming week. I, I can put a little more time into it. Um, so. Okay, great. Excellent. All right. I, I would also like to propose that we close several PRs in or, or any other discussion on that question of coordinated announcement. Do we need to, Alex, do we need to include in the coordinated announcement install plugins.sh as part of that, or is it, do you have it as separate? Um, we could do it as part of, I should, I should be able to um, post the PR today. Oh, wow. Okay. So, so, so I, at least it would be an option to consider making it separate because yeah. you're, you feel like you're relatively close. All the tests pass. So that okay. it's that part's working. So great. All right. Okay, so then the last the last topic on that that general theme for me was there are several PRs in the in the controller uh, repository, but given this path, I think we can safely close. There's one offering JDK 13, another one that's proposing Amazon Linux, and I don't intend to maintain either of those. And JDK 13 is already unmaintained by providers, so any objections if I were to go in and actively close several of those with the explanation that, hey, we're going forward with this, with the, this, this approach and moving towards the implementing the JEP as described, hey, we're only gonna support a, a certain number of platforms and we wanna maintain her for anything we, we merge. Yeah, that sounds good. All right. Last topic, or oh, the, the platform JEP, I propose we shift if there's any discussion on it, let's put it late because I wanted to take Contributor Summit as a topic here. So there, I've sent a proposal out to the, to the Jenkins developer mailing list for this concept of a Contributor Summit in February 23 through 25, uh, so about a month from now. The idea is we use this as an annual event. We've done it before and use it as an annual event to set the, the plan for the Jenkins project and where we're going and to coordinate with each other. One of the topics that's on my mind is platform. And what I wanted to, to ask here is to enlist each of your help to join this exercise and help with having platform discussions around where should Jenkins be going platform wise and how. Uh, so the, the event is actually a three-day exercise. Day one, we start with a 90-minute everyone welcome together. And then we have separate tracks on various topics. And I proposed a, I don't know if I've put it in yet. So I'll propose a, a platform track, something like this one, that focuses on what the platform SIG does. We'll schedule sessions to meet together as, a, as people interested in platform and bring proposals ready for the concluding meeting on the last day of the, of the summit. So question here to, to, to everyone involved, are you willing to participate in the Jenkins Contributor Summit towards the end of February? And are there insights or suggestions you'd like to offer? I, I will not be able to do, do that. Uh, we have a, I have a work offsite type meeting, uh, but don't hold up for me. <laughs> okay, good to know. All right, that, that, that already helps. That way I, I don't put your name on things, Alex, if knowing that you're, you're absolutely not available. And- um. Mark, I should I should be open those days. So, 
great, Jim. So I'll, I'll likely work in more detail with you. I, I like having somebody from what I'd call a platform vendor be mm -hmm. able to help us think about this thing. Uh, I've got some other platform vendor type people that I want to get enlisted to assist as well. Okay, awesome. And Cara, Gareth, are the two of you okay and interested and willing? Yes. Uh, yes, Mark. As, as you know, I'm really looking forward to the event. Um, and I will ask you, Bob, if he's available during those days. It would be great to have him in the Yes. Uh, well, and in fact, I put Vibhav on, on as, a, as a proposal for that. So thanks very much for checking with him. Yes. And yes, from me as well. Excellent. Thank you. All right. I think that covered everything on Contributor Summit. Any other questions there? It, most of the work will happen outside this meeting. Okay, and the last one, I'm actually prone to just drop the topic for now because I have not done any further edits to that since initially proposing it. It's there. I'm happy to discuss it here if you'd like. Jim, I suspect you're probably, you and Alex are, are two crucial ones to see, hey, does this make sense in the way you think about things? The idea here is let's propose to have the concept of a maintainer and Images that don't have maintainers go into the adopt this image program, somewhat like the Jenkins adopt this plugin program. So the idea being, if we don't have an owner for something, we probably shouldn't keep attempting to update it. Uh, at the moment, as an example, I feel risky with CentOS 7 because I don't, I don't work on it. Alex thankfully submitted a pull request. There are others that similarly worry me, hey, is this getting enough maintenance? Yeah, I, I, I will review it for sure. I, I have not done uh, a review of it yet, but yeah. I will do that. All right. That that was all I wanted to, to spend your time with and squander. Are there other topics that you'd like to discuss here as a group? Um, just as an FYI, I submitted those two PRs, um, oh, one for the disabling of published experimental and the other one with the uh, install plugins shim. So they're, oh. they're there. I, I put them in the chat. Excellent. Thank you. So I'm just going to embed them into the notes then. Thanks very much. So that's 1073. Thanks, Alex. And you say the other one was... Oh, 1072. Great. Okay. And it is, oh, cool. <clears throat> Any other topics for today? All right. Thanks, everybody. Recording will be posted within probably two or three hours. Thanks, Mark. Thanks, all. Thanks.